Hello, Mansfield ISD community. I am School Board President Courtney Lackey Wilson, and I want to thank you for joining me for this month's board brief video. Earlier this month, we held a called meeting and budget workshop where it was recommended by Superintendent Dr. Kimberly Cantu that all employees receive a raise of 3% at the midpoint for the 2024-2025 school year. The recommendation also included increasing the employer contribution toward medical insurance from $250 per month to $350 per month to help offset the 9.5% increase in TRS active care medical rates. Thanks to the hard work and foresight of our business office, MISD can avoid making any budget-related layoffs this year. When other districts across Texas are forced to adopt deficit budgets and cut programs and staff, we are not. So incredible work to our team, and we thank you so much for that. The board will vote on the recommendations at our regular meeting on June 25th. Before the board meeting, we held a reception to say farewell to Desiree Thomas. Mrs. Thomas has served on the board from 2018 through 2024. Des, I want to say thank you for your selfless service and you will be missed. Earlier this month, we held elections for two board seats with the results in and the votes canvassed on May 14th. Following the reception for Mrs. Thomas, we held the official ceremony to administer the oath of office for our elected board members incumbent Mrs. Michelle Newsom and newly elected member Dr. Jandell Crutchfield. Congratulations to you both. I can't wait to see what we accomplish together. Let us look at what happened during the May board meeting. We celebrated district recognitions. We started off by honoring our last school board superstars for the school year. These elementary students are awarded for their outstanding citizenship and this month we recognize students from Annette Perry, Alice Ponder, Martha Reed, Elizabeth Smith, Cora Spencer, Tarva Rendon, Roberta Tips, and Mary Jo Shepherd Elementary Schools. I'm so super proud of all of you. Next, Danielle Alvarado from Lake Ridge High School was recognized for her achievement by being named part of the National Hope Squad Council. Her efforts, along with counselors Nuria Garcia and Charlie Martin, helped many students across the nation struggling with mental health. We recognize all Mansfield FFA members who received Grand Champion or Reserve Grand Champion at the Tarrant County Stock Show. We also celebrated those who placed at any major Texas stock shows which have been held in Fort Worth, San Antonio, San Angelo, Houston, and Austin. Next, our career technical students from Ben Barber Innovation Academy and Frontier STEM Academy were honored. Throughout this semester, these students from across the district have competed in district, state, and national level competitions. We were able to recognize the students that competed in Business Professionals of America, DECA, State Skills USA, ProStart, High School Barbecue, Future Farmers of America, HOSA, Future Health Professionals, Texas Association of Future Educators, and the Texas State German Contest. I love seeing so many of our students and educators being recognized for the amazing work that they do. And congratulations to all of you. Continuing with celebrations, we recognize our Mansfield High School Army JROTC Storming Tigers Drill Team. The Mansfield Drill Team won first place in the Armed Division of the Army JROTC National Drill Championship, held on May 3rd at Ocean Center Arena and exhibit hall in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida. First in the Nation is inspiring and they are always one of my favorites. And finally we recognize student athletes in track and field from Mansfield High School, Summit High School, and Timberview High School. These athletes competed in place in the high jump, triple jump, shot put, hurdles, and racing events. They are truly amazing. After recognitions we moved on to department presentations. First, Dr. Tiffany Spencer from the Department of Assessment and Accountability provided updates on how her department has supported campuses through professional learning. The department has also responded to the feedback to continuously improve their process. Then Jeff Brogdon, our Associate Superintendent of Facilities and Bond Programs, recapped Propositions A and B, which were approved by voters earlier this month. Prop A will equip and renovate school facilities, including life cycle replacements. 
technology, infrastructure, safety and security, updating our bus fleet, expanding students' opportunities in fine arts, CTE, athletics, and the building of a new Early Learners Academy. Prop B will allow us to purchase interactive smart boards to replace outdated classroom projectors and update digital signage for campus communications in all of our schools and buildings. Mr. Brogdon then discussed the next steps for all proposed projects. To wrap things up, Jeff Roberts, our financial advisor from Hilltop Securities, presented on the funding for the 2024 bond and how it will work with the INS tax rate. We will be able to fund all approved projects with no tax rate increase. As a reminder, you can review the consent agenda, watch along live, and find archived board meetings on our district website. Lastly, the end of my term as president was announced at the board meeting. I want to say thank you for letting me lead our school board. It has been an honor and a privilege. The board has decided to pass the torch to Trustee Kezia Farrar. So next month you'll be hearing from our new president, Farrar. That is everything for this month. Thanks for watching. Now go make it a great day.